Hey D. Yo. What you doing over here? Uh, I am trying to <laughs> take cover on a beamer. Take in far from Nugan. Far from Nugan. Hey. It, it, and it's far from Groovin. We got a 2014 Promaster in again. Not this particular one again, but very common and I'd like to tell you why Promasters suck. <laughs> Dimitri, yeah. why don't you tell the folks why ProMasters suck? Oh, they have no idea. They have no, okay. Um, like anything you do on this. Steering racks, yeah. super common. Steering, uh, steering rack leaking fluid requires removal, dropping the subframe. <laughs> and, 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 and the rack is bolted to the subframe, and so the then you're dropping, <laughs> you're dropping the subframe with the rack attached, and then okay. you're separating it on the ground. Transmissions for, I believe this is a transmission for, for a Jeep Patriot that's put in a Chrysler E Class. That they front wheel drive Jeep Patriot that they put in a, a big old work truck. All right, another reason they suck. Sideways mounted front wheel drive transaxle V6 setup. No Durpanzer shield. No, <laughs> yeah. So anytime you curb this thing, the it, first thing you're going to hit use to stop your vehicle. Is, is, your, is your yeah this is your transmission that snaps or your engine half. so yes the transmission mounts i'm gonna lower this thing d um the transmission mounts are notoriously bad and the very expensive parts from the dealer and uh they've been superseded because they break so often that sometimes they will actually break the transmission tape requiring a transmission case to be replaced which they're not available because they break so often that good used cases are almost impossible to find so now we're now we're going to get to under the hood so under the hood you got a disassembly i don't on i'm not sure where to start so very common uh oil coolers okay uh any 3.6 v6 engine from mopar front almost guarantee front, front yeah front or wheel drive keep go all the way down will this where this oil filter goes has a built-in oil cooler that goes underneath this intake plenum and tends to dump out on the transmission housing and pour oil out the back looking like a rear main seal when it's actually the oil cooler which these oil down there that's faulty um the transmission mount that breaks all the time is over there lifters no oh crack cylinder heads very famous for cracking the cylinder heads uh lifter tap and misfire due to the faulty lifters and of course this one oh actually won't stay running. How about that? Let's see if we can try that again. Okay, running now. Hear it? No, that is not the sound of direct injection. That is a bad lifter. It's a misfire on cylinder one. And you got to pull the camshafts up to get to the lifter followers and the rockers that are underneath there. Fuel injectors. We've had a lot of these with fuel injectors that stick, causing misfires. And then, so those are, oh, the expansion tank. I've yet to see one of these that are new that is not cracked. This one's been replaced already. So these expansion tanks crack all the time and leak coolant. It's like they were designed to do so because I've yet to see one with more than 40,000 miles that wasn't cracked and leaking coolant. That's why this is a lot newer than this because this one's been replaced. This truck has 76,000 miles on it. Needs a, the lifters replaced. Has a leaky transmission pan gasket. Has a sticky fuel injector. Uh, we see quite a few water pumps go out on these. That's another one. That's fun. Air filter is real easy to replace, not. 
Um, hey, book time's an hour and a half to check that filter. <laughs> yeah, get, get an hour and a half to put an air filter in. So, yeah, you they're fun. You the want... headlights. You have to remove the fender and the bumper so you can get to the air filter. That makes sense, right? That's engineering at its best. I don't know if you can blame Mopar or Stellantis. That's some Italian BS or... Oh, Stellantis too. Oh, my. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know it. It's a Fiat special. So, stay away from these. I'm just warning you. If you've got one already, get rid of it. It's worth it. Get rid of the thing. Um, get yourself into something else. Pro Masters. Uh, rating one to five. We'll give it a one. Yeah, only because I have to give it a score, we give them a one. Although, they, they're great for business. <laughs> Thank you.